Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everyone, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys know the drill, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes. You know what? Thank you for just being so kind to me out here. You guys are wonderful to me. Um, thank you to everyone who's joined the family here on this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, welcome to everybody new here. Hi, I'm Becca. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. So divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective messages for the collective, please? Okay. I'm really getting the sense that, yeah, there's some fighting going on here. Um, I feel like there's, um, there's a masculine here that really doesn't want to be in a commitment, okay? I feel like they're in a commitment with the Queen of Pentacles or this Queen of Pentacles could be wanting to um come you know commit with this person and they don't want to there's a lot of fights going on i feel like they're you know they're trying to stop this masculine from coming towards you and having an awakening i feel like you're the world and the temperance angel here or you're the world and the divine is trying to work with this person it it feels kind of like divine intervention and you're the one who's moving on and there's a person here that they're either committed to or wants to get married i feel like they share a home with this person they're getting a lot of um, they're changing here they're getting a lot of flack from family members um, friends that um, they've cultivated here through a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, I, they're just trying to get married or keep this person where they are. Um, they sabotage or there's, there's other people around that are sabotaging um, this connection, okay? You have learned your lessons and you've made it through a very tough journey, collective. You could be a Taurus, maybe an Aries, maybe a Sagittarius. Um, you're very intuitive that you've healed through whatever people put you through, okay? You've looked at yourself, you've done your shadow work, you've healed from things that, um, from in the past. You've uh, broken uh ancestral curses <laughs> like you've done it all right you've done everything that the divine has wanted you to do and i feel like now you're able to graduate okay this is like a graduation card you're graduating from the last cycle you're moving into a new life for yourself man you got through everything with flying colors but there's still somebody here i feel like the divine is trying to get this person to see um, that they need to do the same work that you've done, okay? They need to wake up. They, um, it's either wake up or get stuck um, in a, a commitment that they don't want. I feel like this person is changing. They're starting to take a stand for themselves, and I feel like the divine has their back. This is divine intervention. They've, I feel like they've received the messages the divine has, has sent them. They're taking a stand. They're waking up. Their vibes are, um, are starting to raise higher than the people that are around them. I feel like they may even, um, it's clear to them. They're getting messages, maybe through dreams, visions, um, that uh, this connection here with you has been sabotaged. Okay, but they need to do the same work that you've done. This person is behind you on this, though. They, um, they're just now waking up to all of this. Uh, the divine is intervening here. That's really the way I'm feeling. And they don't want to be in a commitment with this person anymore. I'm not seeing that they've done anything wrong. I'm just seeing that this person is, they know what it is that they want. And I feel like they want out, they want to close out a cycle, not, not be committed to them. There's a lot of fighting going on behind the scenes because this person is changing. 
they're changing okay um and i feel like anything that was hidden um to sabotage your connection i feel like it's about to come out into the open they're being shown everything hidden okay um yes they are maybe they're being shown that the person that they're with is actually you know um in it for money okay they could even be being shown that you're getting, um, the wheel is turning in your favor. You could be getting a lot of abundance here. I feel like this person there, the divine is showing them visions. It's either in dreams or um, just visions, okay? They're picking up on some kind of sabotage here from whoever they're with. Uh, I feel like... Um, they could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like this person feels very betrayed here. They may even want um, want to take this person for all of their worth. Yeah, look, um, they're doing nothing but fighting. Fighting over money. Fighting over a split. Fighting over the end of this connection. Because this person, they do not want to be committed with this Queen of Pentacles. They could have been with this person for years and they just do not want to commit. You know why? Because intuitively they know that this is not their person. They're waking up. They're listening to their intuition. They're realizing things that were hidden, done behind the scenes, right? To sabotage this. Um, and this person is angry, but they're changing, okay? Okay. They're transforming here, and um, the divine is giving them this information. This Queen of Swords could be, you know what, I'm just feeling like some kind of money battle here going on. There could be a business or something that they could be fighting fighting about. This person, they're, they're angry because they really don't want to lose everything that they invested in. This could be a business. Yeah, and it could very well blow up on this person they could be losing a business they could be losing all the money that they've saved um losing a home here with the tower i'm feeling it was more like a business okay um this whoever this queen of pentacles she's feeling betrayed because this person doesn't want to be with her anymore if they were already in a commitment, this is coming to an end. And this Queen of Swords may take this person literally everything that they've got. Um, there's a major shakeup going on with all the fighting and this tower coming down. I'm telling you, and these two going at it toe to toe, the Queen of Swords with this uh, Knight of Swords energy. Man, I'm telling you, this, this masculine, they're going to speak their truth. They're going to defend themselves. They're going to say things this Queen of Swords doesn't want to hear. This masculine, now they know they're going to ha possibly have to fight um, to hold on to something that they've built here. Okay? They may even be um, talking to an attorney or something here as well. Or there, there could be some kind of contract. Like this, this uh, Queen of Swords could say, well, yeah, but... Even though you don't want to be committed to me, my name is still on everything. I'm going to take everything. I'm going to take as much from you as I can. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, this masculine, the, they are getting betrayed. They're realizing a lot about who they're with, you know. Um, and this queen of swords, she's so upset. And feels so betrayed. She really is doing this um, out of revenge, I feel. Okay, and all this person really wants to do is just leave peacefully. They just want to leave peacefully, okay? Because they're. I feel like this person is in love with you. They want that Ten of Pentacles with you. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you could be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries. Yeah, they want to commit to you. You're the one that they want to come towards. 
And I feel like this person isn't going to back down, but they sure, they're mad. They sure are mad because they're going to, this queen of, of swords is going to take this person for everything. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is right here. Yeah, this person sees you as their match. Look, they're in love with you, collective. All right, what else can you show me here? So this is a masculine who um, is getting divine intervention. They're waking up. They're taking a stand. They're going through a lot of fighting, and I mean with multiple people. It's not just this queen of swords. It's family and friends now are involved, and everybody is going up against this person. And I feel like, um, yeah, it's because they don't want this Queen of Swords anymore. But I feel like that tower is everything they worked for is going to crumble. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're trying to hang on. I feel like they just want to hang on to you, their soulmate connection. This could be a twin flame. This person's making a decision when it comes to love, and I feel like it's a firm decision. They do not want to be committed to this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords energy. They want to be committed to this Queen of Cups over here. Um, you're their true soulmate connection, and they do not want to let you go. You could be a Gemini. I got heavy Gemini here. Yeah, look at this. They know that you are their Ten of Cups. And when this person, when they bailed on you, they lied to you, they betrayed you, I feel like, you know what, all of that is coming back on them. It, you may not take this person back in the Two of Swords energy. You may have already made a final decision that maybe you can't trust this person after what they've done in the past. They're trying to get back in, but... Um, this is someone who really betrayed you, used you. They don't know if they're going to take you back or not. You could say, no, I don't think so. I don't trust you. This is, this is, I feel like is trust. You know, trust was broken, shattered. You may not accept this person back. And they do not want to let you go. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. If you don't take them back, that's going to be a very painful ending for them. It's going to be man down. They see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment. But you know what? I feel like you have been burned so many times in the past. And this person, I feel like they broke. That was that straw that broke the camel's back. And I feel like you're having a hard time trusting, especially people who have lied and betrayed you in the past. Like, I feel like things are just coming to an end here. This person may have realized a bit too late. Right now, I feel like you're happy being single. You're in a time of celebrating your life. I feel like you've made major accomplishments here. You've put in the effort. You've worked really hard. I feel like now you're just saying it's my turn to be happy. It's my time to enjoy my life. You know? my success celebrate all all that i've accomplished here and so yeah you're going to be out here celebrating happy being single um you've got everything you need you know you want somebody who's going to be true to you somebody who's going to be able to commit to you and you don't think this person is it they may be walking away um really sad because you know what they now they are ready to commit and you're not going to trust them. Yeah. This person is ready to commit. You may send them back to wherever they were. You know? They've got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, but they're in this King of Pentacles energy here, making a decision to come to you. Yeah, they're about to kind of lose everything here, I got to say. They're about to lose everything. And you're truly the one that they want. And they're truly leaving people behind for you, I feel. And they're really fighting for this. And they're waking up. 
they're, they're not going to know what to do next because they've lost everything. They'll be losing everything. They'll be losing everything. It's almost like it feels like um, somebody who doesn't know which, which way to turn after that. They're going to need to rebuild after that. I mean, this is everything coming down. The Tower, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Because they, they're going to know they turn their back on the... Look, these two of cups here that they turn their back on in, in the past, okay? Um, that's these two of cups here that they're coming towards now. They're coming towards you. You're the one that they want. But they, they're going to realize here they may need to leave you behind here. They may need to walk away from this because you're already out here being happy. And I feel like they're going to know that you're about to meet somebody new. The next new person you meet, this is what this person's going to be thinking. The next new person you meet is going to be that Ten of Pentacles. You're going to meet somebody new. You're going to meet somebody new. And they're going to feel like a complete fool who lost out on wish fulfillment. Who lost out on this blessing here. You were the blessing. Yeah. I feel like this person, they know they're under judgment. They, they, needed to, they needed to boss up. This is going to make this person boss up, just so you know. You've made this person feel every king in the deck at this point. Um, and I feel like it is going to make them boss up here into an emperor. But I feel like by then, um, yeah, you, they're still going to be out in the cold. They're still going to be out in the cold because you're moving on. You're, you're now meeting new people. You're happy being single. You don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. So you're waiting for somebody who's going to be solid for you. I feel like you don't trust people from your past because they really put you through it. They've beat you down. They've lied and deceived you. You, you don't know who you can trust from your past. They've all proven to you that they've, you know, that they've, they've been immature, noncommittal, you know, no. So, yeah, I feel like you're moving on. You're going to choose you, and um, you will eventually meet this new person, and I feel like it will turn into a ton of pentacles here. You're ready for love. You know, you just you just want the right kind of connection. And um, yeah, I feel like you're going to leave this person behind, but you're teaching them big lessons here. Big lessons. They learned a major lesson. Yeah. Anyway, collective listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. Um, and resonates and if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe join the family because we rock and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out